Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm here in Newcastle. As always, I'm delighted to be joined by Lewis Ritson. How are you, buddy? I'm good, my, my good friend Nani from IFL yeah, TV, yeah, isn't it? I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I just said off camera the last time I saw you was in Dubai. Yes. Uh, Thomas Ward was fighting out there. But before we touch on him and stuff like that, let's talk about you. I mean, Miguel Vasquez came to these shows twice before. Josh Taylor, O'Hara Davis. Gave Josh yes. a good fight to get stopped. People, a lot of people thought he beat yeah. O'Hara Davis. It's a tough test for you, Lewis. No, it's a very tough test. I haven't seen the horror fight, to be fair. I'm just telling like saying people but people say that he won that fight and with Josh like you see he was doing quite well until Josh put on him and, and stopped him didn't he so it's going to be a very hard test for us but one I think I can get through. Do you have to make a statement here because obviously the one foot it was touched on by Eddie Hearn the 140 pound division domestically at the world level is you said yourself chock is. Yes it is. Chock a block. Chock a block. Uh, it's, it's stacked with good talent. You've got the two world champions Ramirez and Josh but then underneath you've got the Regis Program, Maurice Hooker, yourself coming through you've got the gold guys at the Golden contract and stuff like that so do you have to make a statement against somebody like Vasquez to put your name up there to fight these guys like Regis and Josh and yeah uh, if you look at him he's only been stopped twice and one was off Josh and I think the other one was on a cut or something what, I, what I've been told so it's going to be hard to get him out there but I think that a good hard dominant performance it'll, it'll definitely like show that we're ready for the next level I mean uh, the top two Ramirez and Josh all the top two by probably quite a way as well aren't they mm -hmm. so you know, I think then we're going to fight each other and the winner will move on and leave the, the belt vacant and hopefully I can dive in there and get a vacant one. Is that the sort of plan, hoping that, well, no, not hoping, because it's always good to win a world title off a world champion, but yes. obviously if it becomes vacant, it's out of your hands, but you, you're ranked highly with the WBA, yeah. that is the, probably the, the route that you're going to take. Yeah. Now, if Josh doesn't vacate, and for some mad reason you become mad at today, we spoke a bit before, but every time I spoke to you about fighting Josh Taylor, you've been, I'll get a hide and I'll get my, my face punched in, but truthfully, you, you do think you can give Josh a fight? Oh, of course I do, yeah, 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 course, yeah. of course I do, you know, I wouldn't be going there just to lie down, but I'm not stupid at the same time, I mean, he's a special fighter, isn't he? He's, and he's at the top there for a reason but if you get them phone calls to fight someone there of course you're going to you're gonna take it you know and, and get and get stuck in and whatever happens happens isn't it so uh, but no I think like I say they're the top two and if it, if it becomes vacant I hopefully we will get the WBA shot if not then Josh <laughs> 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 I, I, I'll, I'll send him that clip don't worry I'm going to send him that clip uh, as well, world title shot, Eddie's toyed with the idea, you've toyed with the idea, seems everyone in the North East has toyed with the idea, the St James's Park. I mean, we've seen it with Wembley, we've seen it with the Goodison with Tony Bell, yeah. Eddie can pull the stadium fights off. Yes. Is that, that's not so much a dream anymore, because if you win and a world title shot does come your way, surely that's, that dream can become reality, sure? Well, it could, but I think it just depends on who who you're fighting. I think we've, we've touched on it before, like, I mentioned Josh Taylor, I think they like, a fight with me and him. At St James's Wood sell because of the calibre he is and the support he brings, but it'd be a bit hard if you bring like a sort of an American over that no one really knows and it'd be hard to sort of. I mean, the Arena 9000's a good a good crowd, but trying to get that in the St James's Park would be hard. So we need someone the name to, to do it, but all time with the idea, you know, being told free free fighters, yeah, win them in St James's Park early next is a is a big big possibility. So I've just got to do my job, keep winning. And, and keep putting that opponent up each time and then hopefully that, that uh, chance will come. Does that add pressure to you? I mean, three fights this year, it's like it's easier said than done. You just Because the opponents ain't going to come, like they're going to be walking, but Vasquez is tough. I'm yes. guessing it's going to be tougher and I'm guessing it's going to be even yes. tougher. So does that add pressure to you when somebody says to you, three fights this year and you can fight a team dude's park? Like, yeah, how much pressure well, do you feel? Uh, you know, the pressure I know, I've done it before Patera, look looked way past Patera, put pressure on myself and then we all know how that ended up got a bit of a pacing. So, I'm just taking one fight at a time now and uh, I'll, I'll not be looking past Vasquez and, and I won't be doing that with any of our opponent if I do get past them so it's no pressure on me, I'm just staying calm, staying level and I'm always smiling, always smiling, <laughs> got to, haven't you? And, then, uh, and then big fights will come. Again, more pressure is like the North East seems to be, you seem to be carrying the North East in terms of like you, bring, you bring the crowd, you bring the big fights. Is it pressure for you for like fighters like Joe Laws, April Hunter? All these guys that are coming through, Chad Ellis from the North East, like, if you win, they get on your shows. So there's, yes. there's more pressure on that terms. I mean, you've, you say you've always smiling, but I mean, there seems to be pressure coming from all angles for the newer stretches just to keep winning and winning and no, winning. No, I'll keep winning and keep, obviously, because you want the local talent to keep coming on, don't you? And they're showing themselves and then they're getting wins, the chance are going to open for them. So it's one of them where you're not really much pressure, but it's up to them to to then when they get their chance they've got to like I've done with me they've got to show themselves and show how good a fight as them are so uh, it's got, I've got the <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting them on it, but they've got to then make sure they put a statement out. So that's if they get in, that's no pressure on me. But get them on the show is down to me a little bit. But I'm up on it. If they're good enough, they'll be on it, won't they? Definitely, definitely. Good. Just go back to Vasquez. Like he's coming off a knockout win. Uh, tough opponent. In front of your new Newcastle crowd, I mean, you've got. To you're going to have that extra kick in you, you with this, this Jordy lot. Oh, yeah, well, you've, you've been there, you've seen that. That was unbelievable, isn't it? Like isn't it? So, I mean, uh, well, I remember when I was a young, not even a pro, Spawn my and going up for the fights and hearing the atmosphere up there in, in, Glasgow. in yeah. Glasgow are unbelievable. And I think you get the same sort of atmosphere. You'll never get me to admit that Newcastle was better. Well, I'm not saying it's up there. It's, 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 it's up there. One of my top two. Yes. It's top two anyway. The top two. So Glasgow <laughs> first and Newcastle. <laughs> so, but no, you've seen the atmosphere and you know, like, I don't want to get beaten in front of them again. Do you know, like, so I'm going to keep training hard, keep going and, and just put on another performance and get the win. Last one, that Patera loss as well, obviously, Feeling like I'm not like came backstage to see you, you were devastated. But that loss, obviously, people say it's a lesson rather than a loss sort of thing. You've actually took that because that feeling you never want to feel that again, do you? No, it was a Newcastle. blessing in disguise. You know, I was mm. out of a list of ten. I was probably doing one thing right out of ten, and I still pushed them mm. all the way. So you just sit back and sometimes you regret like what if I was doing four or five things right and you know I've come back teams come to the table I've left my dad out like, obviously he's still a part of the team but don't train with me down train my final full time and I think everyone's seen the improvements especially in the last fight and uh, there'll, be, there'll be a lot more to come I've got to say you've got to get a new track so that's peeling off look oh I see what I mean yeah, that doesn't bother me man. I'm, just, I'm one of them all that <laughs> <laughs> as always thank you for this TV and uh, I'll see you fight, we'll see. Yes, fight, fight me yes fight me no problem man, man. Just put on it